Hey everyone, Andy Trice here, and I want to show you an update to one of the apps that I put together a while back that leverages the IBM Watson Q&A service. The IBM Watson Q&A service allows you to submit queries to Watson in natural language and receive responses. Uh, a while back, I'd hooked this up to the Google Chrome speech synthesis and speech recognition APIs that are available in the Chrome browser. And that worked great, but the problem is that the speech recognition and speech synthesis only worked in the Chrome browser. Well, IBM Watson has recently added two new services, well, several new services, two of which are speech recognition and speech synthesis. And what I've done is updated this example, hooked it up to the IBM Watson uh, speech recognition, speech synthesis services. So now that we can have um, a conversation with the application in a variety of places, not just in the Chrome browser. So let's take a look at that real quick. Um, first thing I have up here is the app dashboard uh, running on, on Bluemix, which is IBM's cloud services. And we can see in my dashboard, I've got the Watson QA service, I've got the speech to text service, and I've got the text to speech service. Once I have all three of these, I can run, I can call any of them um, from with, within my Node.js environment running on Bluemix. So let me go ahead and minimize this. And now I've got three instances of the app up and running. Let me zoom in so you can see maybe a little bit better. That's too far. We can see here I've got it running in Chrome, I've got it running in Safari, I've got it running in Firefox. And we'll go ahead and submit a query. What are the symptoms of Parkinson's disease? Often, the first symptom of Parkinson's disease is tremor, trembling or shaking of a limb. So it recognized the speech, translated that into text, submitted it, and now it's playing back via HTML5 audio. The speech speech recognition piece is actually leveraging um, HTML5 uh, Get User Media API. So it's only supported in browsers that actually support Get User Media. Um, for example, here in Safari, if I attempt to use speech, rec speech recognition, I get an alert that says browser does not support microphone. Um, that's because Safari doesn't actually support Get User Media. But it does support HTML5 audio, so if we submit a question, um, which I just clicked on a link. pressure is the number one risk factor for stroke. So I clicked on a link that automatically performed a query for me, and you can hear that that query was submitted and um, the audio was played. Now I'll go ahead and run the same example in Firefox. It's asking for permission. What are the causes of diabetes? What causes diabetic heart disease? Done at least four complex processes alone or... So there we have it. So there we have it. The application is running now in more than just a Chrome browser. Um, it, it theoretically could be run anywhere that supports Get User Media and HTML5 audio. Get User Media for speech recognition, HTML5 audio for playing back any of the audio. Um, I've tested it out on mobile devices and um, it's, it's, some are hit or miss because a lot of the web audio and um, uh, media capture APIs are just aren't developed yet on a lot of the predominant mobile platforms. But you know that day is coming, and once those are available, you will be able to add that to your own web mobile web applications. But for now, what this means is you can add um, speech recognition, speech synthesis, and have a conversational type interaction with any of your applications. So if you want to develop something like a Siri or Cortana or OK Google type functionality, you can put that into your own apps very easily uh, by leveraging IBM Bluemix services.